Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ashok Gupta and I'm here with a new video with a question and its rationalization. Okay, let's move. So this question would, is a more situational question which will allow you to feel it. So you are allowed to move within your chair as well as feel the activities and so I recommend doing this uh, within this question so it will help you in. Uh, I request you to pause your videos in the next screen for one minute, read the question, choose your own right answer and then let's rationalize together. So take your one minute. Okay. So let's start solving this way. This question has a 51 year old male which has a right side facet joint locking problem. That's it. It's a very small question but has a lot of good activities given down and we need to choose which one of those would be the most unrealistic or impacting activity or would be the most difficult. Okay, so let's start with the first one. First activity is like with your right hand, you need to touch your left toe down there. With sitting within the chair it means like you need to bend forward. That's flexion, and then you need to rotate towards your right side. So lumbar vertebras are flexing and rotating towards your right side. Okay, let's move on to the second activity. That's a similar one, but this time the right hand is going towards the left leg toe. So this time the left rotation of lumbar vertebra and the flexion of the lumbar vertebra is happening. Okay. The third activity, which is like if you have seen any kind of a ball bat game like a baseball or cricket, whenever if you need to catch a ball, you need to like come with both the hands if the ball is coming from the sky. Uh, you need to take up and then you catch exactly in front of your face or, or in front of your chest. So what happens to the lumbar? It is hyper extended. Yes. So there is a bilateral ex hyper extension in the both the, in the both the side of the facet joint. They are doing a hyper extension. We'll talk about the biomechanics in a moment. And the last activity is a throwing activity. We were throwing a ball with the right hand, and you are talking about the last phase of a throwing, which is a release of a ball. So when you are in this, so your right shoulder is in front and the left shoulder is in the back, means you are doing a left side rotation in the lumbar, and you are leaning forward, means you are doing a flexion of the lumbar so this activity is this so let's talk about the biomechanics of the lumbar joint so whenever you have a facet joints both the sides okay the orientation of the facet joint let's say talk about the right side facet joint it's like this so whenever you you do flexion movement uh, your uh, superior process the, the vertebra, inferior process of the superior vertebra or the superior process of the inferior vertebra which is oriented like this at alpha alpha level when you do lumbar flexion they opens up when you do extension they closes down and it happens bilaterally okay let's talk about the lateral rotations Okay, when I'm doing a right side rotation, what happens? The facet joint orientation is such a way that when this side and this side, let's say suppose someone is rotating towards the right side, so your this process will go behind and this process will come close. So what will happen? The closing on the left side and opening on the right side. Yes. If you want to rotate the opposite side, the opposite will happen. So the side you are rotating, the, uh, the vertebral facet joints will open up the same side. And if someone has a facet locking joint problem, so the opening would be a problem to him, closing won't be a problem because the joint facet is already in a locked position. Okay, so closing is not a problem, opening is a problem. So right side rotation is a problem. Answer one, yes, that's the right answer because only that answer provides you or requires you to do the right side rotation and which would be impractical or difficult for the patient to do it. Uh, if you know this point, you have done it right. Yes, but I give you extra trick here. If let's say uh, someone who's confused or is not aware exactly what happens during the rotations in the lumbar facet joint, flexion and extension is very easy to feel. Even if you do and then feel, you can make it realization like, oh, when you do flexion, everything opens up at the back, and when you do extension, everything closes at the back. So uh, answer three, if you read that properly, there was a hyperextension happening. It there can't be a right answer. It has to be between the one, two, and four. Okay, let's. Come on. So four and two, if you see the answers, they are exactly the same answers because you're doing a flexion 
and the left side rotation when you do this movement in the second answer when you do this this movement in the fourth answer again this is the left side rotation and the flexion so there can't be two right answers in one same question they can be the one best possible answer but not two right answers so the answers which are same are both wrong so only left out option with you is the first answer and that's a right one so next time I hope you will be doing this one on the right side so take care of the